U.S. forces have continued to cripple PLAN forces in the theater. USS Seawolf has certainly been doing her part and has not allowed the enemy to rest one bit, constantly hunting down and destroying Chinese shipping and submarines. Luckily, thus far in the conflict, Billy Allen and his crew have not been ordered to venture into extremely shallow waters often. Com Sub Pact seems keen on keeping Seawolf operating in deeper waters. Recent orders from Com Sub Pact continue this trend. USS Seawolf has been ordered into the Philippine Sea to hunt down and kill a PLAN SAG operating in these waters. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard USS Seawolf as we continue our South China Sea campaign and cold waters with Dot Mod. We are currently patrolling in the Philippine Sea and we have encountered a PLAN surface group. I am not sure if it is the one that we need to target. There are multiple in the area, but we will certainly find out. We are going to start with deploying the toad array there and bringing up the ui let's reduce our speed to five Great knots and rig quiet. for ultra quiet thankfully there is a strong layer here at 208 feet and we are in very very deep waters we have three contacts thus far it is possible that this is just a hunter killer group and if that is the case i may disengage we are looking for well maybe i can just sink them uh, i suppose yang who this looks interesting. Interesting profile. I'm not sure if this one is using active sonar. Luda 3. Okay. Con sonar Sierra 2 is classified as Got export. it. Another Con Luda. This is just a hunter Sierra killer group. Is classified Let's see as the weapon situa situation. We have 17 Mark 48 torpedoes. Four are loaded in the tubes. I, you know what? I'm going to engage. I am going to engage. Let's check the signature here. Wow, they can barely hear us. And you know what's going to make it so they really can't hear us. Seawolf is going to drop to 300 feet, and then we will launch our Mark 48s towards the target. Let's drop to 300 feet, please. And we are going to turn... Yeah, new heading 071. We have dipped below the layer, and we have picked up Sierra 4. It looks like we may have a submerged contact on our hands. It looks like it lines up perfectly with the Ming. Diesel electric sub. Okay. Four torpedoes, four ships. I think we are in the clear. We're going to fire all four torpedoes from the port side of USS Seawolf. Hopefully that'll mask the launches a little bit since it's facing away. Then we are going to dogleg them quite extensively. I'm thinking we'll have the torpedoes Con swing around to... Is okay. As escort. Oh, hello. I think we'll have our torpedoes swing around to the northwest and then come south. That's the plan anyway. We also have three harpoons loaded and tubes five, six, and seven just in case things get really hairy. Let's see, tube four will go searching for the sub. All the other torpedoes, just in case the wire breaks, are in fact going to go for the escort ships. I think we are clear to fire tube one. We'll just have it run straight. Fire tube one. There we go, tube one away. Tube two, shoot. Tube three, shoot. And tube four, shoot. There we go. All right, all four away. Let's have them turn northwest now. 
Just to kind of throw off the enemy ships. I am worried about the Ming, but it doesn't look like... I don't think she can actually hear us. She is the most worrisome contact because she is operating beneath the layer down here. Wow, at 700 feet, quite deep. I feel okay about this situation, though. The Luda, I doubt, really. Yeah, they have no idea where we are. This strong duct and strong layer is really causing issues for the PLA and sonar operators. They're going to have trouble finding us, I think. I think it is time to turn our torpedoes in. I'm going to have, let's see, tube one. We'll go for the Luda. Tube two, we'll go for CR three. Tube three, four, CR one. And now you are going to uh, turn south and work your way towards the Ming. I want Seawolf to turn new heading zero nine two. Zero. Nine, two, yes, please. And drop down. Actually, actually, never mind. Maintain this course. I want to avoid wire breaks at all costs, really, at this point. So we are going to hold on to the wires. Anything, I should probably turn. Come left to turn the left. I want to avoid the wire snapping. So far, we are still undetected. The Ming. How far away is she? 14,000 yards away. So, yeah, we are good. We are good. Things are starting to shape up quite well for us. Tube one's about to go active towards the Luda. They have to realize there are torpedoes in the water now, right? I mean, there's no way. Tube four is heading towards the Ming. And there we go. Weapon has already acquired. There we go. Okay, tube two still racing towards Sierra three. You know, we're gonna wait for it to pass Sierra two and then we will launch. We wanna make sure Con three is going for Sierra one. From Sierra launch four. from the Ming. She is launching multiple Sierra torpedoes. Four. Wow. Yeah, okay, well, time to go get her. Activate. There we go, torpedo has acquired the Ming automatically, hopefully. Yep, it's going down towards the Ming good i will have this torpedo activate momentarily it looks like cr2 is already about to eat it and the more i'm thinking about it this may actually be our target objective i'm pretty sure the luda here yj8 missiles anti-ship missiles yeah this is kind of what we were looking for ships carrying these sorts of missiles but it's possible we have encountered them Noisemaker. Good thing we still have the wire. We got her here. Impact. There we go. One destroyed. Goodbye, Sierra 2. Let's activate you. You know what? Go ahead and activate you as well. All right, tube 3 is homing in on the Luda. Tube 2 is homing in on the Yang Wei. And this Ming's about to uh, get it as well. Wow, very clean. Very clean overall. We can't... I'll stop. Ming turns for zero. I want to see if we can pick Nine. up the Ming's torpedoes. It's very possible we can't. That's all right, though. I am pretty confident they are not really going to be near us. Let's guide it. Come on, reacquire. No? All right, we'll loop it back around. Looks like CR3's locked on nicely. We're losing contact here. Okay, CR1 has been locked on. There we go, reacquired. Goodbye, Ming. Impact. Luda is about to eat it. Oh, maybe not. Noisemaker may throw off our Mark 48 here. Where is she? Yeah, threw it off. Went just aft of the target. Two down. Okay. 
Still gonna hold on to these wires for the time being. Tube 2 is looking pretty good. We don't have a good idea of where CR3 is. She just launched a torpedo, though. We did hear that. <laughs> Interesting. Con, fire control, there we go. Fire. Tube 3 has reacquired CR1. Homing in on her. Con she is sonar, moving. Okay, this Two, torpedo... Zero, one. This track is actually mildly worrisome. And they're, they're zigzagging sonar, back and forth. Okay, we need to take these two ships out ASAP and then get out of the way. All right, come on, Team 3, come right. We know the target's track. Hopefully it reacquires here. Got it. Impact. Beautiful. Okay, Sierra 1's done. Tube 2 needs to loop around to the right. Reacquire, please. Fire control. Weapon, acquired. Weapon acquired. Good. These noisemakers are doing a pretty good job at throwing us off. Let's begin retracting the towed array. Sonar. Increase speed. Make turns five. Adjust. Con there we go. Come on, baby. Okay, missed. Just went aft. I'm surprised the proximity fuse didn't go off there. Loop back around. And we'll guide it right in here. Con, there we go. Con, sonar, lost contact. Beautiful. Three, last bearing, two, zero, okay. Three, it's time to get the heck out of the way. Right to zero, Come right. Eight, seven, helm, I. Retract the toad. Increase speed to 15 knots. I'm sure it looks like we're actually clear to leave the combat area. I will do that here momentarily. We are clear to leave the combat area. I am going to do that now. All three or four vessels sunk 10,000 tons. Continue on. Let's see if this was actually our mission objective. This was not our mission objective. Okay. Here's the second group in the Philippine Sea. Let's intercept it now. Status report. Load four torpedoes. Let's go. Close. Our new contact bearing. Deploy the toad. Bring ship for ultra quiet. And rig for ultra quiet, please. CR1 is way out here. Okay, this is trickier. See, conditions have changed. Identify. We'll rock with the same thing here. Um, interesting. Profile, Luda. Yeah, definitely a Luda. CR4 here with another submerged contact. Okay, we have five contacts out here. Han. Con sonar, Sierra four is classified okay, this is already getting trickier. A mirror. Merchant. Con sonar, Sierra five is classified as. All right, merchant. the Han is worrisome. Let's check her out. Hmm. Oh man, if she goes active, she's got us. We're going to be fighting for our life here, I think. Okay. In that case, begin dropping down 1,000 feet. One, zero, zero, zero feet die by. No layer to protect us this time around. Yeah, the Han is the concerning contact. Turn north. Come right to zero, zero, nine, helm I. We also have an aircraft using a stepping sonar over here. This has... I'm guessing this is our mission objective. Who knows? Who knows anymore? Regardless, we are going to sink them because we do want to accomplish our objective. Four torpedoes. Four ships. We are going to... I want to build up our solution a little bit more, but we need to shoot as soon as possible. We're going to turn north and fire. Okay, folks, I think it's really now or never. We're probably going to be detected here, but let's set it up. We are going to do the same thing as last time. Tube four is going to shoot first. We're going for that Han. Okay. Three, two, 
One. Okay, all four away. Con, helm, steady course. Come right slightly. Okay, come way out here, please. We're gonna come from a completely different direction. As long as we maintain the wire. Uh, the fact that she's cavitating <laughs> uh, is worrisome. The Han, where is she? Oh boy. Oh, look at that though. She's operating right next to uh, this Luda here. I will say, Han's quite a nice looking submarine. It is interesting that she is operating at around 100 feet though. There we go. She just stopped cavitating. Okay, is she using active though? It's hard to tell. I don't think she is just yet. That's possible. We we have no real great idea here. I could fire off a moss, but I'm going to refrain from doing so for the time being. Let's check our stores. 13 Mark 48's left. How many mosses? We have six, so... We, if we use one, I'm not going to be too upset about it. Okay, rudder amidships. We're going to let these torpedoes run for a little while. We are going to dogleg our fish now. Like this. Yeah, perfect. That seems good. We're going to keep our toad array out for the time being. I want to know when there is a counter launch on our position. This merchant's about to witness something quite interesting. The Luda. Let's check the signature here. I'm surprised she is not firing on us. I don't know what's going on. Maybe she already has. That is possible. She should certainly hear us at this point. Not that I'm complaining too much. I'm sure these torpedoes are confusing her here. Let's see. Tube 1. We'll go for CR1. Let's start moving them. There we go. Just like that. Go get them. Uh, tube 4, I want to use active sonar against the Han. And I'm going to wait to activate them just a few more minutes. Just so they're running a little slower and a little quieter. Until it's, you know, the perfect time to strike. I want to reduce the amount of PLAN torpedoes in the water frankly uh, that's ideal it would be great if we don't have to use any decoys or evade okay Sierra 4 just launched they're counter launching perfect to the north nice try okay well I suppose it's time to go active the game is up let's see let's have our torpedoes move in fast want to have you sure go active too brace to the surface all of you they have a while to go we did launch at a thousand feet we are going to maintain this course i see no reason to deviate from this course that way we can avoid wire breaks the han is turning south and running probably a good idea all things considered i see your torpedo is already up at the surface these are the torpedoes fired from the Han. There we go. All Mark 48s are near the surface. Love to see it. Except I want you to track the sub, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll fix that. Weapons have acquired the target. It looks like... Tube 3 has actually acquired CR4. That's fine. Let's just switch it up. We still have the wire. There we go. Now Tube 4 has acquired the Luda. 
Tube one's racing towards CR one, and tube two's racing towards CR three. They're still they're a little further out. Looks like only two enemy torpedoes are in the water. There are aircraft flying overhead. So we do have to be on the lookout for that. But right now, I'm I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not too worried. Hans dropping noisemakers. Mark 48 is racing towards her. Starting to lose contact here a little bit. That's okay. We'll just rely on the sensors from the torpedoes in that case. Things are looking good here. Okay, this torpedo is homing in on the noisemaker the Luda dropped. We saw she turned... We ended up turning to the north here. Let's adjust accordingly. Somewhere over here. Hopefully it'll reacquire. This one missed the Han. Reacquire. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Mark 48. There we go. Oh, it didn't actually require. I'll just guide it. We have contact. Impact. Okay. One destroyed. Luda once again dropped a noisemaker. Turn the torpedo north. See if it'll reacquire there. Tube 2 is racing towards the target. And Sierra 1 has been locked on now. Let's begin reloads. One torpedo per enemy ship. Slash submarine, of course. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I will say the Sea Wolf is a fantastic boat. It is great having four wires as well. I think we actually have more wires, but I haven't had a need to utilize more than four at a time. Weapons acquired somewhere. On the on Sierra One over there. Move uh, it to intercept. Control, acquired. Okay, acquired. Uh, Impact. Uh, there we go. Bye, Sierra Two. Sierra two. Last bearing two. Five, Looks like Sierra Contact One has a pretty good chance of eating it. She knuckled, actually, according to here. I have no idea where she is. Let's have it run. Okay, come right. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Con, fire control, acquired. acquired. Goodbye. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last bearing, two, seven. And finally, tube two here has not acquired Sierra three just yet, but she's getting there. She's getting there. Take your time. Take your time. These torpedoes raced right past us. No factor, really. Gone. Fire control. And Weapon there we go. Fire. Weapon has acquired. Tube 2 is closing in on the target here. Looking good. Come on, reacquire. Let's have it move towards the target. There we go. Reacquired. And what a convenient noisemaker. Reacquired. Let's take a look. Get her. There we go. Wow. That was a massive explosion. There we go. Contact is breaking up. Begin reloads. Fantastic. What a clean engagement. Two clean engagements in a row. Let's begin retracting the total ray. Let's get ready to get the heck out of here. We do have an aircraft dropping sonar buoys and such right behind us. Also these two torpedoes, but once we get out of the way, we should be clear to leave the engagement area.
We are clear to leave the engagement area. Let's see if this particular group was indeed our mission objective. 12,000 tons sent down to the bottom. And it was, there we go. Constant convoys, cargo ships from North America and Japan continue to ferry goods to the region with minimal losses. This has been attributed to the efficient cooperation among allied naval forces. The convoy system worked in World War I and II, and it still works today. A spokesperson from the Pentagon said, continue. A wolf pack of enemy attack submarines has been operating in an area about 50 miles southeast of Haiphong, Vietnam where they have been pursuing anti-shipping campaigns aimed at the local fishing industry. Okay, there we go. Another wolf pack that we need to go and take care of. I think we can do just that. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.